Hey guys, my name is Cyclone Hunter, and welcome to today's video. Uh, so, little recap of what happened with this whole thing. Um, so, last Wednesday, I was supposed to be live streaming this episode two um, on YouTube, but sadly, uh, when I live streamed, it never actually went live, and the actual recordings that I normally do somehow got damaged and deleted. So, in other words, I lost a good three hours of footage. I was distraught, disappointed, all that. So what did my bright ass idea decide to do? I decided to go to Twitch and live stream at least five hours of this entire game to catch up to what I missed. Um, so today is going to be the YouTube version of that, but this is mainly going to be pretty much just the dating simulator. That's what today's video is going to be. It's no dungeon crawling, nothing like that. Um, so it's just going to be like little snippets of everybody because I did work on uh, other weapons that I was using on this run so I was also going technically on more dates on this one so if you guys want to see that that is this full video it's, I don't know how long it's gonna be because like I said I'm just gonna be going through cutscenes and all that and going through people I've met so heads up there that's all this video is gonna be it's just mainly the dating simulator not so much the it's either gonna be the dating simulator meeting people so there'll be a little dungeon stuff so meeting people stuff like that that's pretty much gonna be the entirety of this video so if you guys want to check that out, come on down, check it out, because that's what YouTube's mainly going to be for. It's going to be mainly for story-based games. But now, if you guys want to see me just play shit in general, uh, you guys can go ahead and follow me at Twitch, at CycloneHunter18 Twitch. So if you guys want, go over there. It'd be a huge help. be awesome to have you guys over there. Because um, I do want to keep YouTube more as story-based games and have, like, little show series and stuff. So we're going to try doing that. Um, it'd be great to have you guys there. It'd be great to see y'all. I will catch you guys next time, though. Enjoy the video. All right, well, I guess let's go talk to Sunder. All right, I spent the time... Oh, you spent time at Lerdoso with Sunder. Sunder looks at the dance floor with longing before refocusing on you. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's get to know each other better. Ask me anything handsome. So what do you do? I own this place, Mandy. Well, she owns most of it. I make deal with the scraps. Yeah. Life is for living, right? So I work. I'd rather have a good time. That was quick. <laughs> Do more damage when surrounded. Uh, finishers have larger attack area. You know what? I think that one. I think Dance Floor would be better. Because he does more damage. So I spend most of my nights dancing. I'm glad you're here. I only have eyes for you, you know. Oh, yeah. It's not to meet your gaze, but an intensity that makes you blush. <laughs> Never do that again. Oh, God. Ah! 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 I'm I feel nasty now. Ugh. His focus is broken by his phone. She bring, which he looks at. God damn it, I do feel nasty. Uh... Uh, I'll be right back, handsome. Don't go anywhere, all right? Oh, yeah. He smiles at least towards the bathroom. You wait. It's probably only been a few minutes, but it feels like he's gone for a long time. Fill an inch, hunch, suspicion. Check the bathroom. I wonder if we should go after him. The guy feels tight, and uh, yeah, no, let's go. Decided to just kill a little peach, calm your nerves. You find a back door propped open. Outside, you hear giggling. You step outside and find Sunder leaning into a woman whose eyes are glazed. She big, but she pretty good. She three. What? Uh, is that him? Cause. And someone's like that's watching us. Someone like that's watching us. Sunder leaps away for a third, wiping his mouth. Hey. Oh, hey, what? Oh, hey, uh, oh, hey, Sakla. So this is weird. I'm gonna go. Uh. Oh, no need. Uh, no need to sneak up on a guy. I was coming back in soon. Are you dating mm -hmm. someone? What? Oh, no, not really. Not that you and me are exclusive, but I I'm here for you, primarily. Sure, I'll let it, okay? We have so much fun together. I want to make you feel special, because you are. I like you a lot. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot. Hmm. But also, sometimes I want to kiss you other people, and I'm sorry if that hurts. Now, let's just be friends. And then shout on all this, you're not going to find a sharper blade, cutie. But you're lost. Ah. It's fine, we can still have fun together as friends. I'll do right by you, Shy Cloud. Trust me, sir. I'd like to offer a gift. Just take it. Ah! 
Oh, oh, just you know, this for me. You know how to spoil the boy. Yeah, just give him, literally, just give him beer. Done. That that's that. I guess that's the way to get to his heart. I don't fucking know. I mean, please, here's the. I don't know where I left off. Were there dates? There were dates. Okay. Yeah, there's one for him. I wonder, is this one over here open now? <gasps> it is. Okay, good, because I do need him. He is actually really fucking good. Okay, you arrived just as a hearse drives away. It seems someone died. A young person stares down the street after it. Goodbye. <clears throat> Until next time, Alice. Farewell. I'm sorry for your loss. Don't talk about her. You didn't know her. Fair point. Oh, it's you. Hmm? Huh. Why did you come here? Huh? You know me? Never mind that right now. Answer me. Why did you come here? I'll just explore the town. They purse their lips, eyes dark. No, I meant Verona Beach. You're the cause of all this, you know. Oh. The monsters, the universe thrown out of balance. Sure. If it weren't for you, maybe Alice would still be alive. Ah, that's a big if. I mean, maybe. Their shape begins to change. I like theirs because you know what? It's reversed. You get to see, like, them turn into their weapon. Maybe I should just end you and see if status quo returns. This seems serious. This seems like an important decision. Your life is on the line. Bring it, bitch! Just do it then! Enticing temptation. Almost sexual. I'm out. Ugh. Peace. Good luck. That's like another 15 minute break. Fuck that. Alright, I'm a bit. I won't lie to y'all. I use that as an excuse to go use the restroom. Fucking stupid. Alright! <sighs> sure, whatever. The scythe gleams hungrily at you, urging as it weeded. Okay. There's a moment of silence as a breeze passes between you. <sighs> Fine. I can't just kill a random person I just met. I guess. Even you. Yeah. Wussy. Pretty human. I like you, bird. Hush. Uncertainty passes over their features. So, why... Why did you come to Verona Beach? Uh... Should apologize, sir. I'm Rowan. My threat wasn't personal, I assure you. I like you, Rowan. But, I suppose I would also feel angry in your situation. Yeah. I'm surprised you like one person get stolen. Though I hadn't expected you to respond the way you did. Yeah. I must remember that you are unpredictable. Perhaps more dangerous than I thought. Ah, uh, somewhat. Oh well. The reason you came to Verona Beach doesn't particularly matter. Sure. My grandmother is gone either way. Sure. I don't mean, okay. And you're here now. We'll have to survive somehow, in spite of your Chaos. What chaos? You know, dungeons everywhere, creatures running amok. Fair point. Someone's violating the laws of nature. There's a wrongness, rippling. Yeah. You've been seeing weapons damaged, haven't you? It's a pattern of evil intent. Okay, this is news to me, because on the other one I asked, oh, can I wield you? And then he sort of just ended the conversation. He's actually talking a little bit more. Yeah, I know. I noticed this. Only a witch of very high caliber can hope to make things right again. Yeah. And I should get back to it. That's what Alice would have wanted. Are you a witch? You don't acknowledge your question entirely. Right. Goodbye. Bye, birdie. I like him. Okay. I don't know how to. I don't know what this whole sequence is called, but I know the phone number. You find a scrap of paper has been slipped into your window from outside. The paper is thick and strong, as if torn from an old book. 
It has a series of numbers and markings. Did I pick rotation cipher? Yeah, I, I, I don't know what you'd call that. You see Seven sitting alone, poking at his phone. Oh, it's you. Hey. Hey. Seven puts away his phone and looks at you unexpectedly. Or looks at you expectedly. So, there's an awkward silence. Uh. So, um, what's your favorite Blade Generation album? Hmm? What's Blade Generation? Seven smiles as if it's a joke. Uh, oh. Wait. You serious? Oh. Uh, Play Generation is my band from Korea. Double Platinum. No big deal. You don't listen to a lot of music, I guess. Too busy? You watch net TV? Uh, my most killer takes time, you know. Yeah, maybe it'll take less time as you get better. Oh well, uh, since you don't know Play Generation, I guess you don't need an autograph. Uh, actually, I think I gave you the silver ring and you liked it. No, that's right, you don't have it. Would you like a teddy bear, sir? I want a rose. Do you like a rose? I don't think you like a rose. Here's a teddy bear. You really love the fucking teddy bear. Oh, the idea of you sewing this for me is almost too cute. Yeah. So, we're done here then. Um. Let's done sometime? Mm hmm. Yeah, we could try that, I guess, but. Seven trucks. Mm. I'm pretty busy. I have to prep for a comeback in the fall. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know if I can risk going back to the dungeon. My agent would sue if I got any scars. He takes a sip from his coffee makes a face. Something wrong? Yeah, I mean, not really, but... Ugh. They used the wrong milk. Hmm? What kind? I asked for O, but I'm not going to complain, that's for sure. Not my kind of thing, you know? What? Wait, why is she coming over here? Shit, cover for me! Cashier approaches your table nervously. Mm, I am sorry to bother you, but uh, you sound like the play generation, aren't you? Oh my god, oh! Is my voice now? I'm Olivia! Someone looks at you and shakes his head slightly. There's a slight. Um, it's not his real name, you know, yeah. You're mistaken! Uh, huh. No way! I know that bias Wrecker's face anywhere! Wait! That means... Oh, <gasps> oh my! Oh, what do you say? saying? God! Oh my god, oh my god! Play Generation is in Verona! I guess. Huh? Maybe even Sung Woo is here too! Seven's face closes, becoming carefully blank. Uh, <laughs> Olivia rushes away, typing on her phone excitedly. You okay? Yeah. Uh, whatever. Uh, whatever. I, I don't even know if I can hear that. Just in case. Uh, whatever. Can't come here anymore, I guess. Thanks for having my back, though. Later. I guess there's still the Duns. If you want to, the monsters won't bring paparazzi. Yeah, so, see, he, like, uh, what's his, what's his name? Sunder does bleeding damage, he does stunning damage. So, he can shock nearby enemies. That's what's cool about him. He's a stun uh, battler, which I do, which does come in handy, but, yeah, not that great. Alright, head home. Alright, you guys have been on the weird slip of paper from the other day. You wonder if maybe it's somehow on the phone number. It could be. Pull out your phone. Two. Zero. Seven. You answer each number that's right side up. Finally, I've been waiting. Yeah, finally, I've been waiting. Who is this? You don't know. That's amusing. Unless you're playing games with me. Is this a trick question? There are multiple meanings in that number, but eh, good enough. It's Rowan. Come to my house when you have a moment. I have a use for you. Hang up. Alright, cool. 
I'll do that just to unlock him. You find Rowan waiting outside the mansion. You find Rowan waiting outside the mansion. They give you a brief nod. Uh, I suppose you want me to invite you in for tea because people do that. Eh, no thanks. I'm good. Good. Uh, I was going to look for and I was going to look for a herb on the mountain. Crowley thought you might want to help. The bird looks at you pointedly from Rowan's shoulder. Pretty bird. <coughs> Crowley makes a low call, a bit like laughing. Pretty human. I like you. If he vouches for you, that's good enough for me. Let's get going. I enjoy a hike. Yes. It's settled then. They start walking off towards the hill. You walk together along a narrow trail in silent companionship. Here, Alice. Here, Alice found Laurel Sumac and Black Sage here, somewhere. Um. Since the hike is over, uh, <laughs> listen. Don't get any ideas. I need you to do something, please. Just rest here, right on this rock. I'll be right back. Now we yes. Here. Perfect. I'm trusting you. Stay put. They wade into the underbrush without looking back. You wait for a while, the breeze is soft and the sun is warm. But a guy can only take so much breeze and sun, you start feeling angsty. Now oh, just wait. Your eyes light over the landscape, your mind drifting away. You start out the sound of footsteps and you realize you fell asleep. Oh, what the fuck? Hmm, wow. You actually waited. You must be less chaotic than I'd assume. I found the Laurel Sumac, but not the Black Sage. I wonder. I will offer him a rose! He loves it! Hmm, powerful symbol. I'll watch it wilt and learn from its decay. Thank you. Oh well, it's too late anyways. What do you wonder? No. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I have to face this. It's just me now. Cyclone, I have something important to ask you. Yeah, see, that's what I like from him. Heavy finishers create a temporary gravity while pulling enemies towards its center. That's what I like about his heavy. If you were to wield me, what would be your end goal? Strength! <laughs> Power. The oldest temptation. Perhaps, whether arcane or profane. Though, with your appetites, I wonder who who you would overpower. They lead you down the mountain, silent in thought. At the edge of town, they pull a black rectangle from their pocket. Our dark prisms are connected. They poke their prism and your phone vibrates. I don't know if our purpose is aligned quite, but... Call on me if souls need harvesting. Farewell. Farewell for now. Goodbye. They go on their separate ways and you head home. Alright, cool. So I got him unlocked. I want to work on him for a little bit. Alright, so let's do him first because uh, you will get that parry option. Because it's a weird thing. Uh, you'll see it in a second. The church sanctuary makes a surprisingly good combat training space. Mm hmm. Hmm. You're improving, but your parry is actually a bit too... consistent. You could try going a bit slower, or faster, or try a new parry direction. Surprise the splice... the spice of life of fencing, go on. Take a stat on me. Yeet! Your foil flies past his head! Hey now, that's dangerous! Let's maintain decorum in your surprises, shall we? You practice parries and lunch for a while. <laughs> Nice work. You even have me sweating. I'm God! You launch into a new duel and he doesn't spare you an inch. Yeah, that's alright. He flex every thrust easily, knocking them aside. Ah! You rush him in a flurry of attacks, which he defends with poise. <laughs> yes! I'm sorry, I have. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't frustrate you. I just wanted to see your true level. <laughs> I have expected you would throw your sword again. 
I didn't mean to show off. I get impatient sometimes, I suppose. And you handled me rather well, I must say. Ah, here it is. Yeah, so... The repost is more forgiving. Or timing is more forgiving. The repost knocks enemies back further. I think this one is way is what I needed. The more forgiving one. Because, dear fucking hell, I need to time it better. Alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, why are we in a church? Takes off his fencing jacket looking around. My mother raised me in this church. It's a comforting place. She wasn't as kind as your mother, it sounds like, but she did some things, right? She came for the community, mostly, but I took to it more deeply. There's so many mysteries in this life, Cyclone. Some people suffer, others become swords. Mm -hmm. A purpose is helpful. Do you believe in God of some kind? Okay. He's gonna, he's gonna quickly summarize this shit for me. 50 50. 50-50, okay? I, like, some parts I'm okay with, other parts I'm like, eh, you know? So it's like, eh. I, I don't know. Questioning and open-mindedness are important. Even so, I hope you decide one day. Belief can be really strengthening, one way or the other. At least we can agree that love is power, not just lust. Real, generous, patient love. Hmm. I like to think that love can connect on everyone, no matter what deity we believe in, or don't. There are so many suffering people, I want to help them all. I know you like talking business, and I see it more as a powerful tool. I started Brooks and Socius to tackle wealthy inequality, but most wealthy people aren't interested. He releases a long exhilaration, shaking his head. Okay. Anyway, I wanted to thank you for handling my father so gracefully before. Mm. Vincent can be a difficult man. Lots of saber rattling. Eh, we are bad days. Right. Indeed, we do. Though I'm not sure his stresses excuse his... Colossusness? Colossusness? I don't know. He wants what he thinks is best for me. Still, perhaps I should try to say something. But no matter how sharp I get, I can... Never get a word in edgewise. How do you work up the courage to go into the dunge, even when you're afraid? I plunge in! Oh. Yeesh, I tried that with Vincent once as a teenager. It did not end well. I think I was still... I think I still have a scar on my hilt from this scuffle. It was an accident, but still. We all have our own strategies for survival. Even in human form. I find it easier to parry than to go on the offense. Yeah, what do we say? Crowd starts flittering in. Perhaps service will start soon. Oh? Oh, out of time already. How it flies. Next time, I'll make sure we don't get interrupted. Would you like it? Would you like to offer a gift? Uh, I don't really have a lot of gifts. I think he likes cupcakes. He likes sweets. How can I refuse such a thoughtful gesture? Thank you, Cyclone. Good day. Be well. I didn't want to say my name. I was like, eh. Alright. It's almost time to leave and meet Isaac at his investor party. You realize you aren't sure what to wear at the investor party or something serious! You dress with precision, every garment in perfect alignment. Then you wonder, what if you're overdressed? What if you look ridiculous? You change clothes a few times until it's too late. There's no time. Uh, oh shit. Finally, you put the first outfit back on and run out the door. The lobby looks packed with an unusual crowd of young software types. The entry is blocked. Private event tonight, are you on the list? Well, hello. He's with Brooke Associates. Cyclone knows everyone, huh? God damn. What the fuck? Isaac kisses your cheek and leads you into the party. What the fuck? Boy, we're friends. What the hell? I love your jacket. I must get your tailor number. Thanks for coming. Your support means so much to me. All this for you? 
me and the other investors and employees. I hope my father makes it. I told him this gala was for his favorite charity. Where is he? God damn it! <laughs> a familiar face approaches with a smirk. Hmm. <laughs> a slicker invited true VIPs. Cyclone, is this weapon your... The date? None of your business. No. Ah, but this is exactly my business. Have you seen his blade? So fine and straight. I am standing right here. You sure are a good job, you. <laughs> Everyone loves a sharp dressed man. Oh, yeah. Now, if you'll excuse me, I see a platter of shrimp puffs with my name on it. Oh, yeah. How does that ass know you anyway? He was my first date. Oh? Oh, my. So, there's more to the story. See, there's another thing that happened before to where, um, it gave me a different option, actually. It gave me a different option of, um, saying, like, he was my date and all that. And it didn't give me that option this time. That's weird. Okay. So there are more to the story. Isaac. And Isaac, what the hell, escaped, huh? The whiskey's out of the multiple knots. Isaac. Wait, what? Good evening, Father. Can we have a calm, civil conversation? <laughs> this is the most certainly not the foundation of dogs attending Harvard. The fuck are you doing? You told me Dr. Muffin the Third would be it. You fucking liar. Uh, um, well, uh, some of these people have dogs, I'm sure. These people dogs haven't even graduated high school. What have I seen here? Someone taps on the microphone. Music is turned off. Slinker, is Slicer, executive takes the stage and starts talking on the prophet in sword smooching. Pitch him watches out the door. Got it. The Slicer executive starts listening all the hardship they overcame and thanking their investors. Eventually, she names Isaac and Brooks Associates by name in special thank you for his generosity. You notice Isaac smiling to himself as the speech ends. Aw, that's sweet. Someone turns the music back up and the dance floor starts to feel. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I don't think everyone she said was. I don't think everything she said was true. My help wasn't necessary. Mm -hmm. If everyone were paid a living wage, we wouldn't need investors. We could also reduce inheritance. But where'd my father go? He left. Mm -hmm. Ugh, of course he did. Let's get some fresh air. Isaac leads you outside. Vincent and Isaac's assistant are talking. And that's when I pooped. And that's when I Isaac pooped his pants in front of the whole family. Oh wow, that's hilarious! Father. Oh hi, uh, Isaac. I'm, I'm gonna go. Uh. Ah, my worthless son. What are you? What, what are you done with your farce? <sighs> I wanted to show you that my money helps people. Real people. Instead of upsetting over how much money others have, why not take care of yourself? You don't even have a partner, unless don't tell me you're dating this disaster. Damn. Vincent gestures in your general direction while I'm looking at you. Psh, I'm the disaster? <laughs> Leave Cyclone out of this. What matters to me is not that I make a difference. <laughs> Funding these boys isn't making a difference. All you're making is a fool of yourself. <sighs> Vincent gets in a tow in a town car and slams the door. The driver pulls away. See, when I read it before, it said tow car. I thought his car was getting towed. I was like, ha, loser. Isaac sighs, staring after him. Well, now I can enjoy the party without distractions, I guess. You okay? Yes. I'm alright. I knew this was likely going to happen. All I wanted is a good job, but nothing with him is ever simple. Come on. Let's forget him. I'll introduce you to a few people. Your friendship is my most valuable investment yet. He offers you his elbow with a small bow. <laughs> ah! Thank you. 
Yeah, okay, th this is the one thing I don't like. I don't like his Y turning into a full-on I don't like that. And perhaps a small gift from the gentleman. Uh, you gave me a flower! I bought you that little thing. I don't know if it's your style, but I'd like you to have it. Thanks! Wonderful. Now, let's see what kind of music that DJ has started to play. Hmm? You rejoin the party and you spend the rest of the evening together. Alright. I knock gently. Door is cold against your fingers as you nervously tap it. The door swings open. It seems dark inside. Hello? <laughs> horse, cr horse chuckle rasps with the, well, from within the mansion. What the fuck happened to my brain? Nothing more. All of this and nothing more. Answer. You hesitantly step inside, but it's so dark that it takes your eyes a moment to adjust. <laughs> horse chuckle rasps from a shadow. Nothing more. Only this and nothing more. Hush. Hush, Curly. No jokes right now, please. Please don't mind him. Thank you for coming. The tea is nearly ready. Nothing more. You find you're in a sitting room. The smell of dusty feathers and moldy fabric. Good day. Welcome. The appraiser will be here soon, but please don't try your usual seduction tactics. He seems both lonely and bitter, which is dangerous. Let's use a light touch. Follow my lead. You know him well? No. Eh, not well, no. But he isn't subtle. Nothing more. He thinks he's the hero frat, or maybe justice, but he's just a knight of swords. Nothing more. A knock on the door interrupts you both, which then opens. Damn it! Eric, why are you here? Because I can be. Hell, hello, lovelies. I wasn't expecting Cyclone as well. I'm everywhere in this thing. <laughs> You're shy for sure, eyes. Ha! Hmm. Are you here to bid and bid on the estate item as well? Hello, well, Rowan answered. Send my tea, delicious Laird, and Rowan meets your eyes with a small, grateful smile. Cyclone is my associate, uh, serving as a witness, that is all. Would you like some tea? I harvested the leaves just this morning. No. I'd rather not waste time, no matter how exciting my store has to be closed while I'm here after all. Let's just see the blaze and be done with it. Rowan brings out a long silk wrapped package, and they that they are unwrapped to reveal sword and a sickle. They are family heirlooms from the British side of the family. Well, the sword is in the style of ancient Britain around 2,000 years ago. It's fine worksmanship for a replica. I'll give you 300 for it. Rowan clears their throat and speaks almost too quietly to be heard. <laughs> no. It's not a replica. Ugh. Uh, this isn't a 2,000 year old sword, my dear inmate. Be reasonable. It's the blade that. It's the blade that Boudicca wielded when she defeated the Romans and chased them from Wales. Oh. Eric blinks, then blinks again. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, Boudicca didn't defeat the Romans. They defeated her savage. Imperialist propaganda. Second of all, if you think this blade is more than... Oh god, what the fuck happened to my voice? Ah! Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Second of all, if you think this blade is more than 50 years old, you're dumber than you look. How do you know? It's my profession to know. Whether Rowan is trying to deceive me or has been deceived is immaterial. Do you have a certificate or some other documentation I can inspect? Rowan doesn't respond. Eric snorts. Ha! <laughs> Turns his attention to the sickle. Here, yeah, there is a bit of family resemblance. Ham, hmm. What is this, a cousin? 
you tell me. Hmm. Well, it's potentially a bit older than the other. Maybe a hundred years or so. What is this crest? You're the expert. Now, now, don't sulk. It ruins your pretty forehead. <laughs> the crest adds a bit of exotic flavor. Not many collectors of sickles, though. So, it'll also be 300. I see. Hmm. So, do we have a deal? You won't get a better offer anywhere. Nevermore. Tell your pigeon to let the adults do the negotiating, and I'll increase my offer to 350. Look, if you think I'm being called a look, if you think being called a pigeon is an insult, you're hopeless. Everyone knows pigeons are the most romantic of birds. You should just go. Ah. Ah, 400! But that's my final offer. Why not reap the benefits of my expertise? Ah! I said, leave. Now. Eric hesitates and looks to you. I'm gonna just sip my tea. Tea seems to taste even better as you watch Roman transform. Ah! You're not the sharpest tool in the shed, are you, Eric? Ah! Uh, well. Uh, well. I should have known better than to trust a profane merchant. Besides, besides which, his aura seemed to be sickening, as if it were rotting. Yeah, I wouldn't have sold them to him even for millions. I was mostly curious. What is the sickle? Hmm. The sickle belongs to. Lataka, the great druidness of holy fire. I wanted to know what that was worth to people today, and now I do. I wish Alice were here to tell me what to do next. But then, I wouldn't have this problem, hmm. Crowley preens Rowan's hair gently, making a soft clicking sound. I don't know what the fuck I'm making. <laughs> Thank you for your support today. Okay, so I did dread. That's all right, but I thinking final gravity wells explode and do damage when they expire. I like that idea. You said you wanted my. You said when you wanted to mill me for power before. Today, you spoke up on my behalf, but also let me steer the conversation. I appreciate it. I don't know how I've earned your loyalty, but I am glad to have it. I will offer you a pla- You might like a plan. I think you would actually like a plan. Yeah, so what? A thoughtful gift. I sense kinship between us. Goodbye. Crowley, that's a bit abrupt, but yes, I'll look forward to the dodge if you want to will be. Perhaps we can go sightseeing. A terrible pun. Farewell. Thank you. To give credit where due, it was Crowley's idea. Good day, then. Hey! Kill! You and Seven find your seats as the movie starts. The film features a group of teens lost in the dark. A darker and bloodier dunge than you've ever seen. <laughs> Yeesh. Yeesh and... Sheesh, and none of them can turn into swords. Bad strategy, kids. The monsters kill the most annoying teen first. Four long psychic dies and seven frowns. Eventually, all but one of the teens dies horribly, and the survivors narrowly escapes. The light comes up, comes on. You leave the theater. Oh man, maybe I set my expectations too high. I mean, it was fine. Hmm. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I like more realism. <laughs> well, I knew it wasn't a documentary. Well, I'd like to offer a gift. Nah, I'm good. Yeah. See, I, I like the idea of the paralysis because you can stun people. Oh, goddammit! 
Kevin makes a face, as if pleading silently for a rescue. Okay, bye, Olivia. Alright, see you around the cafe, lady, but I want to give you something. Say it, I, I wrote this person a letter. Yeah. Alright, I'll take it. Fans are important to me. Uh-huh. Uh, no, that is... Sorry, can you deliver it for me? What? It's for Sung Woo, my ultimate bias! Can you give it to him for me, pretty, 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 please? He stares at her for several seconds. Nuh uh. I mean, he just said it for me. <laughs> Seven walks away. Huh? Wow! Fish has got to his head, huh? Bitch! Look at you holding an envelope. Sung Woo has written on it with hearts for O's. Yeah. Uh. Oh, That's stalking. He's not stalking, man. Don't bother him. It's just a letter to the creepy unit. She sighs dreamily and wanders away. Get home. Alright. Just don't bug it out, my guy. Don't bug it out. Alright. Church Congress. Oh yeah, okay now here's the glaive, that's right. The chipper pole arm is a little unwieldy, unwieldy in your hand. As you touch it transforms.
so then they Hey, whoa, careful. Hi, I'm Sawyer. Hi, Sawyer. Sorry I'm a little long. I don't mean to be awkward to wield. Sure. Actually, I didn't mean to be down here at all. Cool. My memory's fuzzy, and my head hurts like crazy. I don't like you that much. I feel like something's missing. Yeah, your blade's cracked. Huh. I guess I should go to the hospital and call my mom. Yeah, probably. Or my blacksmith. Hmm. Yeah. But all that has to wait because I'm <laughs> late to history class. Oh. Sure. Tardy. My professor's gonna dock me points for sure. I guess. But, um, maybe I could buy you lunch to uh, say thanks? Sure. Here's my number. Bye for now. They hurry away towards the exit. Cool. You turn onto the side street that's outside Valeria's art studio. Well, the smile on your face drops off as you see Jake walk. Hell, uh, hide from Jake. And I had a reason for hiding. It's because I don't want trouble with her and him and the next thing you know, issues. I don't want that, so I was like, oh, whatever. You duck into a shop doorway as he passes by, muttering to himself. You watch him walk away and turn to look at Val and Val's door. You should just leave Jake alone and go in. Y yeah, you will. Anytime now. I'm just gonna enter the studio. I feel like it was sort of hinting, like, follow him, so then you know what to do, but I was like, eh, whatever. The studio smells of paint and some kind of woody, spiced perfume. Hey. Oh, I thought you'd be here later. Did you see Jake? Yeah, I heard from him. Yeah, see, because she likes him. <sighs> He's being ridiculous right now. Thank you for being honest with me. Speaking of which, she twirls a st strand of hair nervously and looks away. Speaking of messy, I have something to show you. Huh? I want to trust you with a new part of me, and I'm not sure I should. You really want to know who I am? I, I want you to be honest. It's a big step, but I want to take it with you. Me too. Yeah. Really? Okay, then come with me. Yeah, this this is where it explains stuff. Um, what is it? Oh yeah, it explains who's uh who Val is, hundred percent. Both of you are nervous with anticipation. It feels palpable between you. Keep walking till you reach the mall. Val tucks you to the side. She searches your face as you take in the mural on the once plain wall. What do you think? It's beautiful. Thanks. I like it. What do you think so? Um, wow, thank you. This is my last secret. Mine, Jake's, and Jessica's. We were... We are the Roses of Venus. Okay, so quick uh, lore. Roses of Venus is pretty much a group. Oh, I guess he explains it, right? That's what we made together. We bring beauty and love to the streets around the world. Okay, yeah, so this, this is what they are. They're pretty much graffiti artists, but they're on the run because they do gra their graffiti on, like, public places. So, like, this case, the mall, it's on the mall. Like, it's on the wall, and then nobody asked for it. They just did it. I believe they did... The last one was at the Louvre. <laughs> that's why she's staying away from the Louvre for a while. So, yeah. That's what we made together. We bring beauty and love to the streets around the world. You want to have maybe 30 people in the whole world who know who we are? Huh. It's a big secret. What? Being an internationally renowned art provocateur? Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I guess I just trust you. Oh, that's my secret. This is who I am. Istanbul, Paris, Tokyo, New York, London, Shanghai, and now we're on a beach. Our last job altogether was the Louvre. It got us a lot of attention. You see? I think we're wanted by Interpol, though. Interpol now? And Jessica wanted more of it. The more dangerous it got, the better. <sighs> I just needed to get away from it all. You know, lie low. No chance of running into Jessica on the street. This is the opposite of her scene. <laughs> Val looks at you, the truth of her painted on the wall behind and possibly bright. Uh, yeah, and then see, here's the, here's the other one. Heavy finishers confuse enemies. Heavy finishers have wider damage area. See? Ooh, that's actually a different one. I mean, 
Here's the thing, I normally do the thing to confuse again, so maybe that? Just a combo? I'm not sure. <laughs> Plus, I'm really starting to like it here. More than I like it, maybe. We stand together. People talk about the mural and take pictures as the sun goes on. I'd like to offer a gift. Uh, no, I'm good. Wait. Fuck! I'm a liar! No! We do have to do a little bit more. That's not it, because I forgot. I did a little bit of seven as well. Seven was the last fucking person I fucked with. Shit! That's right! Fuck! <laughs> okay, you're right to find Sawyer and Olivia arguing. Ugh. No more freebies! You haven't worked here for like a year! Alright. No more freebies! You haven't worked here for like a year! <laughs> Yo, this is one more reason to have a friend big time, please! Is this your first Cyclone by chance? Hey, how do you know? Hi! Oh, hi, I'm Cyclone! I'm just having a thing for a phone! Sawyer digs in their pockets for money, blushing. Oh, fuck. I thought there's nobody in these gonna get you! They hold your five lumps of sugar in their palm. Look at your shakes your head, Sawyer, and... Uh, okay. Uh, huh. All of the gods! This is the last time, okay? Yeah! Oh, you are in the thing, you know, Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I yeah. am. Now get the fuck out of here. Stay at the table. It doesn't look like Sawyer has anything to eat. No. Wanna split this? No, I'm fine. No, I'm fine. Really? As you eat, you see their eyes tracing the savage carefully and able to stop staring. No, 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 They swallow hard and avert their eyes. Just have some. And you're more forceful invitations. Oreo takes half and wolfs it in two bites. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, like, not lie here. I literally just put, oh, it's delicious, a letter starve. <laughs> let, let them starve. Damn it, see, this is why I'm not gonna be good with this. Fuck! I always... Because, oh, in school, they said they and them is for big groups of people. It makes no sense for the binary. Oh, I don't get it. Okay, whatever. At your more forceful invitation, sorry, it takes half of the wolf's in two bites. Uh, yeah, I want you to have this, okay? Thank you, man. I wish I could love you awkwardly stuff. Oh, you did there and say, I wish you could love you awkwardly stuff from your pocket. Sawyer so smiles, pleased with themselves. Hey, I was looking at my eyes and saying, Oh, weapons of the water beach are getting chipped lately. Hey, he's looking at the giant stuff. He's a big sister, man. And maybe someone's doing it. Well, I'm chipping out some fun as a serial chipper. I'm not sure why that part would be. Yeah. <laughs> I hope they're not dragging these students in particular. That'd be so creepy. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Sawyer's eyes, oh, eyes wandered back to your plate where only crumbs remain. A wildcat, a wildcat growls erupt from under the table. Is there an animal that's here? After a moment, you realize that Sawyer's stomach. Um. <laughs> And hey, all people, skulls only cost like 10 cents of flowers, 10 cents of money. Hey, I'm, hey, this is bad, it seems to me so I could disrupt that market easily. Oh, <laughs> get up the middle, man. Oh, buy the good ingredients and stuff. Oh, I can make an app that tells you how to make a dish like a restaurant with. Oh, you say it costs by not making the waiter your host is too. Boo, what do you think? You just invented cooking. Really? Oh yeah, cooking. Oh, that's what's going on. This is also tough. Fuck! <laughs> oh no, I hate this stuff. Yeah, I'm going to TSG class. I hate this job. I hate this fucking talking. I don't want to talk no more. Oh! Oh, it's a bad thing. He's a good one. I don't want to go with this. This was the best talking. This is all I got. Hey, that would be 
I'm being honest with y'all. I'm so glad there's words there because I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> Let me help. Okay, yeah, 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 that's right, 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 that's right. Bye! Oh, there's the cat. Find a set of blades, brass knuckles. Looks like some of the claws are missing. An engraving on the side reads pocket. Yeah, what? Yeah, you touch, the metal begins to stretch and grow. So, I don't understand this that much, but, um... Find a phone number on his call and you put it into your phone before he scampers off. I don't understand why there's a cat, but there's a cat. <laughs> Alright, uh, you sleep heavily and when it's morning your eyelids feel sticky, They like they don't want to open. Remember today is your birthday, another- oh yeah, I, I remember now. Hmm. I'm learning new things. Find a packet outside your door waiting for you. From your mom and cool to the touch. Yeah. Note says to my only son on his special day. Oh, you had to cut a slice when. Yeah, that's right. Hi, cuz. Happy birthday. I, uh, brought a friend. I hope that's okay. Uh, I hope it's Val. Happy birthday. I. Come here, honey. No. <laughs> yeah. We bought some, she sent over a cake and we bought some little presents, nothing special. Huh? Yeah, don't get too excited. I didn't have much warning and I don't like shopping, so. Well, you'll see. It's tradition. Boy, it's a tradition for the birthday boy to use weapon friend to cut the cake. You're up for it, Val. Yeah. Sure, of course. Then, um, a bit short, but if Cyclone wants me to, I'm in. Okay, so here's the way things get a little, um, little, little weird in this world. Uh, because here's the thing. We all know when you cut cake, there's always going to be, like, frosting and stuff left on the knife, right? And what do, what do people normally do? They, they lick the knife. Um. <laughs> how does that, how does that work with, like, a sentient person being the blade? <laughs> Whatever. I'm a bit sure, but a cyclone wants me to, I mean. What do you think? I mean, we sure have to follow the tradition. Let's do this! Is it the greatest challenge we face together? Geometry. Ooh. Mallory feels warm and confident in your hand. You carefully slice the cake into even pieces together. Oh, yeah. I licked her fucking blade! God damn it. Oh, God, no. Oh, this is such a friendly game. But now, if I didn't do that, is she just covered in frosting when she re-emerges? I don't know. Hmm. Remember that special birthday cake flavor? So vanilla, so sugar. Hmm. Yeah, a bit too sweet. It kind of makes me crave a bit of whiskey, even this early in the day. But now it's a good time to give Cyclone my little gift here. Now hands over a small canvas. It's a colorful painting of Verona Beach. I actually do like it. I love it! I'm glad I wasn't sure. 
If you decide you don't don't like it, and feel free to give it back, I could sell it or pay it over it. Nah. Don't you dare pay it over it. Sakalo, if you don't like it, I'll take it. <laughs> if you insist, I have plenty of work left over. Ah. Anyway, I gotta do a little soft tell. Phoenix Cap Recipe. This gives you an envelope. You open it to find assembly. Assembly instructions for Phoenix Cap. Found holy energy. In the care that I have look like a dorky anime. But it sounds useful for the dodge. Huh. Can't wait to make it. Good, I'm almost ready for sock and almost went with socks and wet stuff. Okay. For people that don't know, whetstone is that blade to sharpen uh it's no, it's a like type of stone that helps sharpen the blade. And uh this is where things get a little Huh? A whetstone? Jeez, warn a lady first. Those are personal. I mean, I'd be comfortable with Cyclone, but I'd rather he pick it out himself. Uh... Uh, okay, okay, I, I get the message, you remember, I didn't get one, the crash is averted, uh... Anyway, Cyclone, you're another year older and wiser, congrats, I'm glad you shared this birthday with us here at Verona Beach. Mm-hmm, definitely, finally there's someone around I can share secrets with. Ah! Huh. What kind of secrets? None of your business, that's what kind. Ciao. Val gives you a kiss on the cheek on the way out. Oh! Close the door behind them and consider you have to spend a new day. Good again. This is literally as far as I got with Sawyer. So Sawyer is about to be done. I gotta catch up with fucking Seven. Because I think Seven, I got him to four. Fuck. <laughs> a few minutes later, later, Sawyer arrives with groceries. Hi. Oh, I never trust me, Bob. I got a few different things. Sawyer so through the bag, you find five different cheeses and various fruits. You can see fear in Sawyer's eyes as they look at the expensive ingredients. Okay, so look, I'm gonna say this right now. I don't remember shit from this, from this part. This part, I li literally zoned out because I didn't even know what was going on. All I know is that sign is not green. Real cheese. Sawyer is just one of the most uninteresting people in the game right now for me. Just because I don't know what to say with like the whole they and them thing. Like it's. Ah. Uh... Because I'm still going to say she or he. I'm still going to say that. <laughs> like, it's very hard for me to say they or them. Whatever. I don't know. I'll get used to it. And it's, I don't know. In my head, it's fucking with me. I think that's what it is. Because I'm, I'm not, I usually use it as a big group. That's what I normally use it as. All right. Let's make it simple. Let's make it fancy. Let's make it simple. Yep. All right. I'm like the lovely. Maybe. Hey, I'm not going to get ahead of myself. We'll see what happens. Okay, you show them how to grate cheese, melt butter in a pan. Oh, so I think that since we need some kind of weird TBSP cheese. What's a tip? What's the tips for terrific butter specimens? No, that's not right. Tablespoon. Wow. Oh, big spoon seems easier to remember though. I like it snuggling. So if I ask dumb questions, I feel like I could be honest with you and ask you anything. Sure, whatever. Since I'm nice, but are you secretly judging me? A little. Aww. Oh man, well I probably deserve it. I'd judge me a little too if I were you. Yeah, no, I would judge hard. There was a kid I knew who didn't learn how to tie her shoes till fifth grade. My nieces and nephews. I guess I'm a little like her at least until I absorb all of your cooking skills. Oh! Oh wait, I know how I can help. There you go, now you can cut the bread on the cheese! I prefer a bread knife. <laughs> oh, of course it makes sense. Oh. They smile sheepishly as you cut the bread with an appropriate knife. Oh yeah. Hey, one of those ones, you're very nice. Maybe if we were. Maybe if there were a monster made of bread, then I'd be set. Oh. You assemble the cheese on the bread and put it in a frying pan. Do you go to college? No, not really. Oh, I don't even know about that. I would go berserk. And my mom's. Wow. So cool. I'm 
imagine my mom would give me that kind of things. Oh, I can't imagine my mom would give me that kind of thing. Sorry, I can't talk sometimes. No, oh, my grandma was mad. I didn't mean to pry or anything. I was just like, you know, it's cool. I wanted to ask because you seem like you have it all figured out, you know? That just goes to show you don't need a degree to be cool and smart. Wait, do you smell that? It's a bird, baby, bird. Oh! Looks like the heat was on high, even though the recipe said medium heat. You have created Bert Mess. Man. Oh, man. Why are you making simple as good? Jeez, really. I just don't know why I hate this baby. This is so pointless. Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, let's try again. Uh. Oh, yeah, Your encouragement seems to calm them down. They look at you and take a deep breath. Oh, yeah, this is me and me. Carefully reassemble the sandwich and put it in the frying pan on medium heat. Carefully flip the sandwich. The scent of melting cheddar fills the air. You have created a delicious grilled cheese. Glaive returns from being thrown. Do damage to all enemies nearby. Uh, Glaive throws and returns faster. Maybe that one, I don't know. Wow! Oh, cookies, that sounds amazing. I can imagine the people turning into swords. They wolf down the sandwich a bit too quickly, burning them out. <laughs> Plus the ingredients for this are like three bucks. Ew. Can you buy the cook instead of going on the rest of the I Sorry, phone beeps. The glance at it and their jaw drops. <laughs> oh, please, the dinner knows the Venus sighting is for the beach. I gotta go. Was it what? I'm not sure how to say it. The best reason, but they're graffiti for good. Ah, it's up with real message, but dream like dreams and beauty bombs, you know. <laughs> anyway, I gotta see the mirror for myself later, chief. <laughs> Sawyer bundles up the leftover cheese and hurries out. Chill. Hey. I'm not to bring him in there again. Hey, ready to laugh at some small town garbage together? Ah, my ears don't bleed first. <laughs> He gives a low, bitter laugh. Hmm? We're both here with Mark, Ski, and McQueen! Seven. Seven what? Only the two of you. Uh, no, my my name, it's seven on the list with Blade Generation. Oh! oh yes, sir. Come inside. Oh, my. Oh, shit. You bump into someone at the entryway and lose sight of seven. Huh. Yeah, imagine meeting you here. Out on yet another date. Come on, Cyclone. This doesn't impress me. I liked being your first date. I liked your inexperience and purity. Ugh. Nobody likes well-used weapons or people. You should be more discerning. Uh, leave me alone. Ha! You always play hard to get. Classic Cyclone. Hey, I know this creep. You don't take no for an answer, do you? Psh, you turn him down to him. I get approached by a lot of fans, so I wouldn't normally remember. Ugh. Except this guy took it so personally, he basically threw a fit. Pathetic. Hmm. I'm so sorry if I'm a romantic who believes in courtship. It's not courtship if Cyclone isn't interested. Back off. Ugh. You think you're so great. I was friends with Cyclone before you. So enjoy sloppy seconds. Uh -uh. I said, back off. You do violence, little sword man. I got a knight templar. I might. This is your final warning. The crowd parts around you, holding their breath to see what happens next. Hmm. I need the both of you step outside. Ah! Eric flees, pushing concert goers out of his way in a piss rush. No problem here, sir. Do that again! I'm blacklisting you. I don't care how famous you are. Mm -hmm. Peace! Seven takes a deep breath and exhales slowly. 
nothing, so the hell. He shrugs and doesn't respond, looking away. The crowd cheers as two figures take the stage. It's Mark Sky and McQueen! They don't introduce themselves, they just start in, heads down to the music. You and Seven bob to the rhythm, and the crowd around you starts to dance. Duo plays a long set deep into the night. Afterwards, as the crowd filters out, Seven squeezes your hand. <laughs> that was actually cool. I'm a guy that I used to like going to concerts. Yeah, here it is. Uh, Chain Lightning can strike two extra enemies, total of three. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It doesn't sound that cool, but whatever. So refreshing to see people who care about the music and not their ego. Thanks for coming. It felt good to yell at that creep, too. I've been the baby of the group for so long, it felt good to be scary. Ugh. So sick of using Ayago or Agio. I don't even know. Um. Though I was kind of venting too, it's not all Eric's fault. I got some bad news today. Wanna to talk about it? Yeah, I guess I do. Thanks for asking. Hmm. So I'm with a friend man of Blade Generation, he's. He's changing his name. His name is going to be Lucky. Can you believe that? Ugh, so stupid. It's an English word, even though that's. That's my. Thing! It was the only thing that made me special to the group. Now nothing. Uh. It's like I don't even matter to him, to our agent, to anyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's not your fault. It's so. I wish I could just. Uh, I don't know. I trusted Sung Woo, so his betrayal hurts, but it's more than that. I feel like my whole career is a joke to them, destroyed at a moment's notice. Hmm. I spent all this time faking it till I made it, and I was just a nobody after all. His eyes glitter, wet with unshed tears. Give him a hug. He leans into your arms, swallowing the tears. Eventually, he pulls back. Uh. Oh, um, I, I, uh... I had some extra apples, so I thought you might want some. Um, he puts a small bag of peeled chopped apples into your hand. Later. Um, I have to go. I, it'd be good to dunge there, too. Uh, take the edge off. Uh, thanks for tonight. I will give him a fucking fried mackerel. He really loves fried mackerel. He loves food. <laughs> uh, fucker. You stumble out the dunge, try, tired and sweaty, breathing hard, your weapon transforms. Seven puts a finger to his lips, eyeing the shadow suspiciously. Huh? Oh, this is new. I haven't seen this. <laughs> a whispering hiss stirs the underbrush of the shadow shit, slithering. <laughs> what are you? What the fuck? Okay, this is new. This is fucking new new. I haven't seen this shit. What the fuck is that? He's advancing towards you slowly. Hello again? Stranger smiles widely, takes another small step closer, your skin crawls. He raises his blade arm and swings it and arc nearly missing him. Huh? This isn't like my usual stalker. Let's get out of here. Now. Split up and run into the night. It doesn't seem like he follows you, but you still lock your door behind you quickly when you fly home. Who the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, I wanna come over. Yeah. Okay, so this is where I left off. This is literally where I left off. But what the fuck was that snake guy? What the fuck? Yeah, a few minutes before Seven will be here. You're struck by sudden anxiety. Your apartment feels suffocating and your boy breathe. You spend a few minutes breathing in and out and trying not to worry, but you imagine his face of disgust or disappointment. Your heart hit the heart in your chest. Everything goes dark. Pull a hand on your shoulder and you hear, Hey, it's okay. Hey, hey, it's okay. Breathe. Slowly, you take a shaky breath and open your eyes. Hey. Hey, I'm... Here, I have a glass of water for you. How did you 
Sorry, I barged in. The door was unlocked and I felt like something was wrong. I had to check. <laughs> Glad I did. It seemed like you needed some help. It seemed like needing someone, you know? I mean, I can't talk. You always seem so together, but I know how it is. Not anxiety, exactly, but... I'm a uh, chronically depressed. At first, I thought it was the stress of Blade Generation. I'm sure Blade Generation doesn't make it easier, but depression is part of who I am. I know that feeling all too well! Alright, let's go. I'm mostly on top of it. Therapy, meds, routines, they help me manage. Um... But if I seem cold sometimes, that's why. Old coping habits, mostly. Thanks for telling me. It's harder now that Sung Wu is getting even closer to my territory, but... Hmm. Uh, I was really glad you invited me over today. I've been stewing. Hell yeah! The sight of glasses, motherfucker! Hell! Sorry. Here have these fashion designers sent. Oh, here have these uh, fashion designers sent me these for a sponsorship, but yeah, they look better on you. Sure, no problem. As for tonight, uh, there's a new season of this series I like to binge, uh, Chronocide. It won a bunch of awards. It's a detective mystery show set in the future, and I bought cheesies as a snack too. I love mysteries. Hmm. Then maybe I should keep my past mysteries. Mysterious, huh? <laughs> oh well, uh, too late for that. I guess I'll have to invent some new secrets. Falls into your couch and you put on the chronosite. <laughs> it seems to mostly take place in alleys with smoking beds at night. They keep hinting that the detective can transform into a weapon, but not what kind. Whichever way I step, fate is waiting to trip me up. Then maybe you should try her first. Seven munches on cheesy as he glances at you sidelong. Lane back, lane back. Look, there's more. There's more than six bullet holes. Somehow, she had time to reload. That's impossible, unless... <laughs> Seven leans into you slightly. His knee is brushing you, brushing yours. Tech's assistant is short-lived and dies under mysterious circumstances. Wait, play that recording again. That voice in the call is Smokey. Smokey Jazz Seeker. And Jazzy... You'll never take me alive, Summer Cup! I am the Garoto! Gorgarty! No! I'm a Gorgarty! There's only room for one in this town! I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Seven's lips quirk upwards. Enjoy the show. Nice. Oh, yeah, then this shit. Yeah, I didn't like this. I was like, eh, this could have been better. <laughs> Ooh. Chain Lightning does more damage when it doesn't fork, and then Chain Lightning prefers to target enemies with lower stealth. I mean, maybe that, but eh. Say, strictly platonic. You enjoy the rest of the show together until the credits roll. If you like to offer a gift, nah, I'm good. Hmm. <laughs> I really like you, but I, I should go home. This was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, me too. Um, I'll text you and look forward to, to the next time. Uh, look, I, I don't know how to say this, but I'm into you. I have a big decision coming up, and even just your friendship would mean a lot. I'm here for you, my guy. Thought I was over here doing the whole... Bah, 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 bah. See, it happened again. It almost fucking disconnected. What is it with you, s Seven? Why do you keep fucking up my shit? Sorry. Yeah, I know you are. Thank you, Cyclone. I'll text you. Later. Night. Night, motherfucker! Hopefully Snake Boy doesn't come for you. Dude, I swear, that fucking scared the shit out of me, though. Very weird. Uh, actually, this whole, this whole interaction that's coming up is actually very weird. Because I guess something was going on with what's-her-name? I don't know. Hey. You find Sunder and Mandy sitting on a dune. Sunder appears to be drinking. Woo! Are you celebrating? Uh huh. Yeah, being alive is the best, right? Uh, uh, I wouldn't recommend it. You know, a lot of people are dead statistically. That's a lot of people. Really? Yeah. 
So then I try to calculate the number of ghosts they should be, mm. you know, whatever. You know, like 1% of people had a finished business? It'd be like billions of ghosts. All kind of ghosts, sultans, schoolgirls, fashion design, farmers, everyone! You know, uh, uh, Are you really trying to be more goth than me? Nah. Nah, I'm being really anti-goth right now. Maddie, keep up. God. I'm saying living is like the VIP section of the universe. By all the death stuff. Why not? It's all around us. That's what I'm bringing a lot mage, right? DYING! What about books and mountains? They're not alive, but they're way better than people. Wait, so I just realized something. How do you- how does a weapon die? Are they just technically immortal, or- I don't know. What about you, Shaka? Huh? Do you think about- what do you think about- yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Over the blue light ocean, eventually is the silence and Maddie clears as your throat. I'm getting hungry, you must be too, Sunder. How about a snack? Hey, looks at me curiously. Sure, snack sounds good. <laughs> Hear that, lover boy? He's up for Hey! Cut it out, Maddie. Why'd you have a told poor cyclone about our little hobby? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna lie about this. He told me everything. Oh, really? Maybe he is learning from his mistakes, then. Ugh. Oh, Maddie, just go home and fill the game, Steve. So you stop, I just don't s stay out too late. The sun comes up fast in summer. What, are you a vampire? What, I got vampires? Is that what the whole deal is? Maddie slinks away into the evening. Sunder glares after her. Thanks for trying to cover for me. I know it must be awkward for you. Oh, god damn it, everyone. Hmm. It's undersized, apparently. I had a loss of words. So, what hobby? Nah. I don't want to talk about it. Not right now. Cold Breeze comes in. Please tell me. Finally ignores what you said. Instead, rubs your arms gently. Thunder hands aren't any warmer, but the fiction helps relax you a little. He takes off his jacket and settles it around your shoulders. Yeah, see, that's right, I didn't put on full shades. <laughs> and the other glasses. Yeah, I also got a kid, little kid. I always wake up late to you, so. Thanks. Mm. I guess I still have something I'm going to talk about. Yeah! It's not like we're in a relationship anyway, yes. Yes, yeah. It looks like he's starting to shiver. I just forget about the shadow. I will walk you home. Where is it warm? Walk together through on a beach until you arrive at the building. You give him his jacket back and puts it back on gratefully. I know he's probably fierce with me right now, but just let you push second, okay? <laughs> Before Maddie ran her mouth, I had so much fun with you tonight. Usually around now, I get the summertime blues, but with you, I feel so alive. Yeah. Like, all my dark thoughts don't weigh on me. And honestly, I don't want to go back to my lonely apartment. It's like a crypt. Uh... I know you said you weren't interested in my that way, but I'd kick myself later if I didn't ask. Can I come up? <laughs> I said we're friends, dude. I was just about to come anyway. Oops, naughty me. Ooh. Night hardness. <laughs> Shit, sorry, slipped up. I'm bad at this night, uh, friendship person. <laughs> he saw us into the night and he climbed up the stairs. Oh. Alright, now we're done. Well, all right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I'll catch you guys next time. Again, if you want to see me continue, go to YouTube. All right. Peace out, guys. Good to know that we made it like with 20 minutes left to spare. All right.